consider the following function. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the given function? To solve this question, if we are looking at an answer choice with tables, we will need to plug in our x values to our equation and see if we get the correct y values. For our graphs, we can check points and similarly plug them into our equation to see if we get the right choice. Let's actually start with answer choice D because all we need to do here is read the text and write an equation that matches. Y is the sum of three y is the sum of 3 times the value of x and the product of x and 2. So product is a word in math that means to multiply. So we're talking about 2 times x. When we simplify this, we'll add our like terms. y is equal to 3x plus 2x would give us 5x. y equals 5x does not match the equation we were given, so answer choice D is incorrect. For answer choice B, let's check the three points that they provided. This point right here is 0, 2. Then we have negative 1, 5, and negative 2, 8. So these are our x values, our y values, and we can plug them in accordingly. Let's start with 0, 2. We have a y is equal to 3 times 0, which is x, plus 2. And our y, excuse me, our y is going to be equal to 2. So we'll have 2 is equal to 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2. And 0 plus 2 does equal 2. So, so far, that first point is correct. Let's switch colors and grab another point. We'll have uh, 5 as our y is equal to 3 times negative 1 is our x plus 2. 5 is equal to 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 would give us a negative 1, which does not equal 5, and thus makes answer choice B incorrect. Now let's take a look at our two tables. Starting with answer choice A, we need to plug in these values of x to see if we get these values of y. y is equal to 3x plus 2. Then we'll plug in our x values. We'll have y is equal to 3 times 3 plus 2, and we'll see if we get 11. y is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is indeed equal to 11. So, so far, so good. I'll grab a new color. And now we'll plug in 4. So we will have uh, y is equal to 3 times 4 plus 2. y is equal to 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 will give us 14, not 13. So answer choice A is incorrect. And that makes answer choice C by process of elimination our correct answer. But for the sake of the video, I'll show you exactly why C is correct. Let's plug in all of these values of x to see that they will equal all of the given values of y y is equal to 3 times negative 2 plus 2. That will give us y is equal to 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 2 will give us negative 4. So that first one is correct. Let's switch colors. Negative 1 this time, so we'll have y is equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 2. y is equal to 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2 does indeed give us negative 1. We'll switch colors again and plug in 0. y is equal to 3 times 0 plus 2. Anything times 0 is just 0, so we'll have 0 plus 2, which will give us 2. Next, we'll plug in 1. y is equal to 3 times 1 plus 2. 3 times 1 is equal to, uh, not 5, equal to 3 plus 2, which is then equal to 5, making that correct. And finally, we will have y is equal to 3 times 2 plus 2. y is equal to 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 does give us 8. So there you have it. Answer choice C is our correct answer.